Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial, Ninety Dot Tutorials. I am Yosef Bodnar, and I am inviting you to another C++ tutorial here on IT Dot Tutorials. This tutorial has the goal to talk about uh, how a pointer can point to a structure. So, uh, how uh, can uh, this uh, be done? How a pointer can point to a structure? Uh, to understand uh, this uh, better, uh, I think the best idea is to make an application as usually I do and uh, as usually I do I will uh, make first the application and after I finish the application I will give you all the explanations needed uh, to understand how the application works and how this uh, pointer to pointer structure works yeah so let's start the application from the scratch so in C++ uh, click on this button create a new project select console app uh, select and click uh, next button and here let's uh, give a name for this uh, application like a pointer to structure let's uh, change uh, the location uh, of uh, this application because uh, I uh, used to put uh, my uh, C++ uh, application to another location so uh, click on create button and this will take us uh, inside the code uh, editor here and uh, let's remove uh, these comments we don't need uh, this actually and let's remove this code line as well all right so let's start the application as i told you when i finish i'm going to give you all the needed applications uh, regard to application and uh, how uh, the topic of this application uh, um, namely a pointer uh, how a pointer can point to a structure uh, works yeah so let's start
Here you go, this application is finished, it works well, as you can uh, see, above here I entered all the information uh, regard to one employee, and down here the application display all the information uh, related to that uh, employee. Yeah, so uh, let's uh, give the explanations um, regard to how this application works uh, and uh, how a pointer can point to a structure. First of all, uh, I declared here this uh, structure uh, called the employees, which is having these uh, members, uh, a string uh, called the name a variable, in the integer uh, variable called employee ID, in the integer variable called age, and a double real uh, variable uh, called uh, salary. On uh, this code line, I declared this function prototype um, called uh, get employees uh, info and uh, this um, function is using uh, the structure employees as uh, argument as you can uh, see and another uh, interesting uh, thing here is this uh, asterisk um, symbol which um, uh, means uh, this uh, structure is a pointer and also this uh, asterisk uh, when uh, we are using pointer is called uh, in direction uh, operator. The pointers actually hold the addresses of other uh, variables. Th that's why a pointer uh, will point to a variable, because the pointer is holding the addresses of other variables. Yeah, and uh, here in, inside the main uh, method, uh, I declare this uh, structure variable called uh, info, which has the type of the structure employees, as you can uh, see and uh, here uh, on the discord line 25 uh, this uh, function get employees info actually uh, using uh, inside the parentheses uh, this um, structure variable info and uh, before the variable uh, i'm using this uh, ampersand symbol uh, which uh, is used to get uh, the addresses uh, from the uh, variable um, by a pointer as i told you the pointer um, is uh, holding uh, the addresses of other variables so um, actually we need something uh, the pointer needed something to get uh, the addresses from uh, those uh, variables so this is the way uh, that a pointer will get the addresses from other variables uh, is using this uh, ampersand symbol before the other uh, variables as uh, as you can see in this example uh, namely here inside this uh, get employees uh, info function. Actually, this ampersand uh, is called uh, when uh, you are using uh, pointers uh, address uh, operator. And this uh, the address of this uh, variable info will be passed uh, uh, inside the parentheses of this uh, definition of definition of this function uh, get employees info. And here, as you can uh, see, I declare another parameter and uh, which has the type of the structure and also I'm using this indirection operator which uh, here actually has the role to get the values from the variable which is point by, um, by pointer to get the access uh, to the uh, values uh, which uh, the pointers uh, from the variables which the pointers point to. So here this asterisk is called uh, the uh, referencing uh, operator. Actually, we have to dereference a pointer to get the uh, values from the variables uh, which the pointers point to. Yeah. So uh, also uh, to the reference structure, uh, actually the members of the structure, we are uh, using this uh, form, this format. As you can see, uh, see here, this uh, arrow. There is another format as well. Uh, if I change here this arrow, I uh, put uh, the parameter. Uh, between the parentheses and here I'm going to use uh, this asterisk uh, again and uh, after the parentheses uh, dot. So here you go. Uh, now actually this is another format what we can use uh, to the reference a structure which is pointer uh, by a pointer. Yeah. So we have this uh, format uh, to the reference uh, the members of the structure which uh, are uh, uh, pointed uh, by a pointer yeah so this uh, actually by calling uh, this uh, function uh, here the application will get uh, all the information uh, regarding uh, to uh, a certain employee uh, here i'm using this uh, get line method which will uh, uh, read from the console the name of the 
employee because I'm using uh, here this uh, member of uh, structured uh, employees, uh, which is holding the name of the employee. And actually, this uh, member uh, of the structure will uh, hold the uh, name of the uh, employee. Yeah, and uh, also I'm using this uh, input stream C in uh, to uh, get uh, the values from the console entered by the user uh, uh, from the keyboard for employee ID, age, and uh, salary. Yeah, and uh, this part of the code uh, from. Uh, 29 to 32 will uh, display in console all the information regard to uh, that employee which uh, I uh, which uh, this uh, function uh, will get all the information yeah all right so uh, here in uh, console here we uh, have uh, the result actually uh, above here I entered uh, all the information uh, regarding uh, to one uh, employee and uh, down here the application displayed all those information yeah so uh, this uh, kind of thing uh, this application uh, does uh, using a pointer uh, which is pointing to a structure yeah i can use uh, a more explicit uh, example to understand better how uh, a pointer can point a structure so let's let me to point uh, let's let me to comment out uh, uh, these uh, code lines yeah all right okay this one good so let's uh, add here the uh, indirection operator and now we have uh, declared this info which is a pointer, yeah, which has the type of the structure, as you can see, employees type, yeah. And uh, we need another uh, variable. When uh, we declare a pointer, we need uh, another variable, which the pointer uh, will point to, yeah. So uh, let it be employee. And now uh, here the pointer, which is this uh, structure variable info, will get the address from another uh, variable uh, namely this employee variable using this uh, address operator yeah and the name of the variable the pointer uh, is holding the address yeah all right so now uh, this uh, pointer was assigned with the address of uh, this variable employee yeah and here i'm going to use uh, this uh, output stream c out to display uh, some information in console like uh, enter the salary the employee salary all right down here i'm going to use this uh, c in uh, input uh, stream to read uh, from uh, the console the value entered by the user and because i'm using a pointer that means uh, i have to the reference the pointer to get a value from the variable the pointer is holding the address yeah so uh, therefore i'm going to use first this uh, the reference operator and after the pointer yeah after parentheses uh, dot and i'm uh, because i need a salary i'm going to access uh, this uh, salary which is uh, variable member of uh, this uh, employee's uh, structure yeah yeah here uh, i use this uh, wrong okay it should be another way around as uh, i did it now yeah okay and now let's uh, display in console uh, the result using c out uh, stream displaying information all right and here i can see out salary here i'm going to write the same format actually to the reference a uh, pointer which uh, is pointing to a structure so this is the one format i mean uh, this one that uh, can uh, the reference a pointer which is pointing to a structure uh, because in this way we can uh, get the access uh, of the value held by this uh, member this variable member of the employee structure namely salary yeah 
and here I'm going to use the again uh, end line. Yeah, so let's see the result. Let's uh, release this application, get the employee salaries. And uh, here you go, here is the result. So uh, this is another uh, format, another way uh, to make an application which uh, are uh, using a pointer uh, which is pointing to a structure. Here um, I can change this format. You can use another format uh, to the reference pointer uh, which is pointing a structure using this arrow. Yeah, actually uh, we get the same uh, result if I release an, uh, again this application. Let's enter the salary 14,000 for example and here is the information display salary 40,000. Yeah. All right, so uh, we get the same result as you can see. So you can use the both uh, format to uh, get uh, to the reference pointer, which is pointing to uh, uh, structure. Uh, this example is a bit more explicit than uh, the before the one. So as you, you can see here, how I declared the pointer and after the variable, uh, which will be pointed by uh, the pointer and uh, both has the type of the structure. Yeah. And uh, here, uh, actually, I uh, will get uh, using this in uh, get uh, the value which uh, will be uh, held uh, by uh, this uh, salary variable member of this uh, structure uh, employees. And here, uh, actually, here on this line, we de reference the pointer which is pointing uh, to a structure. So uh, thank you for watching this video tutorial. Uh, I'm waiting for you to watch my other video tutorials. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.